Oh my gosh, y'all. It's this big daddy centipede in the kitchen. No, he right here. Oh my god. He right here. I think I heard him. You he heard like, him. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Yo. I mean, I'm hurt him because he looked like he just because his body looks deformed. You sure that's not lit? <laughs> no, it's him. Alright, well get the broom and sweep him out so we can know for sure. Oh yeah, I heard him. You heard him? I heard him. Y'all, it's this huge centipede. We was talking, he he like big, like Y'all, I'm he scared. Got like a thousand legs, so even if you did one, he, 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 he right. still can walk. Okay. So. Ah! Oh Jesus! <laughs> the house is falling apart. This is this is flying insect killer. No, that ain't gonna work. He ain't move. Oh, he did. Nice. Sweep him out so we know for a fact. Oh, but oh, I heard his bottom legs. His top legs is is like. I'm dying. <laughs> this what is giving. where he came from but he seems like he's been living a long time we need to call the exterminator but good thing is you didn't see a baby one because then that means there's a mama or papa somewhere well she looked like she might have been a pregnant child she looked like grandpa because it why the hell was that thing so big i don't know why she was so big or it was so big Gee. how the hell did it get all the way over there though Whew. i got to get the hell up out of here every time, every time i come over here i'm always fluttered well, that means you're bringing the bus. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Whew. Okay, back to Sunday dinner. <laughs> Sunday meal prep. Hey, Spice Squad, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nayel. Make sure you press that red subscribe button down below and press that bell so you don't miss a thing your girl posts. Y'all, what's going on? I know y'all seen that quick clip before we got into the intro, but baby, like, Brittany and I had a whole fiasco with this bug. I was in the middle of cooking my meal prep, and me and Brittany was in deep conversation, and she said, she's literally terrified of bugs. Like, you know how the girls be scared of bugs, but, like, she's really, like, an extra scary person when it comes to bugs like even a stink bug that's not really moving like that doing too much she can't kill it she <laughs> would want me to kill it she all i know is she's talking like she's standing like this i'm standing the other way she's like <gasps> i'm like what 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 i start like moving my feet and i see this big old centipede crawl by when i tell you we screamed like it was a mouse screamed i ran to the steps like i was so freaked out because i was surprised and it was really big like it had to be a granddaddy centipede that was living for years he was really up off the ground because he was so big it was so like disgusting and scary but like i'm not scared to the fact that i can't kill it i was scared for the element of surprise so you know never mind that but i just thought that was funny to start off with i'm like i need to record this i recorded at the end and should have recorded in the beginning it was a whole thing anyways uh i am getting ready i'm about to put on something chill i just threw my hair up in like a bun uh i'm going out to eat with my family my sisters and my dad um we're gonna be talking about some things we got some things my dad got some things in the works or whatever whatever so we about to chit chat or whatever but i'm about to get ready and not that i want y'all to really get ready with me but i wanted to talk to y'all real quick y'all know i'm always chatting i'm trying i'm gonna try not to chat so much because the last vlog i was running my yappers but i was watching Aaliyah face vlog and i really resonated with her Q&A because she said something about like how do you decipher like what you share and what you put on your YouTube channel and she was just like in a nutshell she doesn't put personal things on her YouTube channel and it's crazy because it's just like we put everything on the YouTube channel because it's like a vlog of our life like our lifestyle but like she was like personal relationships like not even just her man but like her friendships or any falling outs and stuff that she has or like the really really bad like maybe not really really bad but like if they she has something going on in her life where she has a falling out with like a friend or a falling out with somebody like she's not putting it on social like social media she's not putting it on her youtube she doesn't really do story times and stuff like that because she was just like she likes to put herself in the other person's shoes like if you heard somebody telling their side of the story and that's not how you saw it being the other party in this in the story that they're sharing she's like how do you how would you feel she was like no matter who you are or 
if you were the good person in the scenario or if you were the oblivious one in the scenario whatever part you played in a scenario she was just like if someone else is telling it and you're not being able to verbalize your side you're not gonna feel good about that regardless if you were the good person the bad person the not knowing person like whatever and i was just like that's good she was like but she said this is not how she always been she's just matured into this person and i really resonated with that i also resonated with the part that one the personal life part and two like like telling certain things um sharing certain things and then she talked about like the negative publicity she gets or like when people talk bad about her when she hears like bad rumors about herself and like even on social media when they say like these crazy things and how they used to really really bother her and she's like no matter what it's hard for you not to care what people think she was like I care what people think to an extent and I agree with that like I care what people think to an extent but I'm not going to let it overwhelm me I'm not gonna let it change me I'm not going to let it get to me where like when I'm really having physical or it's changing what I'm doing or you know what I'm saying like of course you care what people think to an extent but if you know that you're not that person and you're not the negative things that they say or the bad things that they say like you got to look around you right you got to look around you like if somebody's saying oh she's this she's that I heard this I heard that I got a roof over my head I have this I have that like I'm blessed I'm highly favored things are working out well for me like I'm on the right track you got to really minimize and like push away those things you know what I'm saying because they really don't matter they really don't matter so I get caring about what people think to an extent but it's just like you really got to look around you and like how is that really affecting you like what are those people you know what I'm saying like if anything if they talking like you gotta be doing something right and then it's just like yeah think about it like the more people talk about you or say bad things they're literally making other people interested in you like I'm sitting here getting to a bag and you talking about me that's making somebody else more interested in into me like they probably going on they coming on youtube y'all they going to my social medias like they're increasing my ratings and my analytics like I'm talking about for me and then like just people in general like people in general think about it when you don't like somebody or you talking bad about somebody like if people tell me something about somebody that's like I even celebrities let's talk about like celebrities like you see something about Lauren London like I'm probably gonna go to her social media and like oh what's she talking about like she talking about something if she does an interview like oh I want to write like listen right like listen to the interview or I want to watch that podcast because I want to see if she brings it up or if she talks about it or if she makes any like little inklings to it towards it so really like talking about people and like when it comes to me like people talking bad about me they say this they say that they're like oh my god <laughs> like oh we finally got some tea Y'all probably gonna come to my YouTube channel because y'all want to see if I'm talking about it. Y'all probably gonna go to my social like social media sites and oh she talking about it she bring it up. <laughs> the ratings boosted like it's a plus. That's a plus. <laughs> so yeah, it was just real good. Y'all should check it out. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was that talking. Um, and now I'm about to film some content for Life is Page. I'm about to get dressed. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing our active tights in the nude, camo socks um, with our original Life Fit hoodie in the green. And then I'm going to put on the Ultra Mini Uggs. Super chill. Just going to Longhorn with the family. So I'll get dressed and I will see you on a second. And we'll see the fam, fam bam in a second. This week we got a lot going on. We have beauty appointments, nailery, lashes. What else? Yeah, I think we're going to Top Golf this weekend. We have an interview live this week for Life Fit. Like, so much. Oh, my God. Um, working out, of course. I'm trying to think of what else we got going on, y'all. We're going to brunch with the girlfriends on Sunday. But I'll probably be starting a new vlog today. But a whole lot, a whole lot. So make sure y'all tuned in. Take that so we can focus. Ooh, I got to pee so bad. I don't know why I didn't pee before I came out the house. Why is it? Nayel, don't even get mad. Because it's not even straight. It's about to mess it up. I don't know. Had to go in the store, grab a gift card. Because I never gave my, gave my nephew, he's a baby, he's one, his um birthday gift. His mom said he needs clothes. Cool. Gift card, give my nephew some clothes. Uh, so I'm going to give that to her when I see her. I'm about to, like I said, I'm about to go see them. I'm about to one drop this package off first and then I'm going to go see the fam at Longhorn to go eat. Uh, I brought my gown with me, y'all. I'm trucking along. Day one, technically, I guess, because it's Sunday. Y'all, yeah. and I got to pee. That's why I got to be. 
I need to get gas too. So much. See y'all at the restaurant. You see everybody on Life Fit. Yeah, Life Fit. Get the socks. Get the socks. Get the socks. Thank you. The nerves. Yeah, everybody got the Life Fit on. Everybody got the Life Fit on. I know. When I just seen your thing, I was like, okay, what were you thinking? I was like, right. Okay. She came in here talking about she wanted liquor. Yeah, I'm not going to I said the regular drink. Honey, because it's, um, it's team. Them kids. No, it ain't. She yeah, keeps trying to say, forget them kids. <laughs> <laughs> the baby hairs? <laughs> Where she got the baby hairs out? <laughs> and Felicity has blonde hair and blue eyes. So my nephew, how old is how old is how old is Kyle? Seven. Seven year old nephew first, is in a love grade. triangle. First grade, and he has Felicity and what? Felicity and Abaya. Felicity and Abaya is who he's in triangle with. So and what's the problem? Write, they write him notes in class. Yeah. They write him notes. They don't have writing They can smell, honey. They can smell, honey. No, they can smell. So, they be writing him notes, so he come home and he'll tell me about it or whatever. Just what do you be saying? Talking. He'll just be like, look, um... And I had this, and guess who this is from? Da, da, da. But he'll, he'll say it like my girlfriends or whatever. He got girlfriends? Yes, yeah, like his papa. So listen, um, the one day she, he got a note from the one girl, so the one girl doesn't like the other girl because she wrote on this note that she gave him. It was, oh, I love Kyle. It'd be like love letters. She, they're in love. <laughs> They're not so, in love. I love Kaya with all these hearts. Oh, that's what it means. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, um. Right. Let me know how they are, okay? So, she don't. Anyway, on this, on this one note, as I'm listening to him tell me the story or whatever, um, it has, I love Kaya on there, da da da, from Avea. <laughs> On the other side, it says something else. So I just flip it over, just looking at it. And on the other side, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what did I say? <laughs> and so he tells me what it says, and it says, I don't like Felicity. Uh-uh. And her last name, or whatever. Uh -uh. So I'm like, ooh, girl, who wrote this? And he was like, the other girl. And I was like, well, why she write this? He was like, because she doesn't like her, and, he, and she wants me to give this to her. So the girl wanted him to give the note to the other girl. And I was like, why? So it could be from you? To that girl, he was like, No, he she just wants me to deliver it to her. Like, <laughs> right? these people, these and I'm like, Oh, you're on drama. Yeah, I was like, oh, you're in the whole drama. I love this is album yeah. right here. I said, But I don't like that. I said, Because you're not about to pass nothing that say that doesn't like this person, and that person, because you didn't write that, right? I'm gonna have him in trouble, yeah. So I definitely contacted the teacher and gave her the one, two, one, one, two. You contacted the teacher? Yeah. And she's like, oh, I didn't even know that, that it was notes involved. But she knew with the two girls who they were. And she said, and really, it's not Kyle. He doesn't even pay them no mind. They're, like, infatuated with him. Like, he doesn't egg them on. Like, I'd be at home listening to the stories thinking, like, he'd be egging them on. Like, I'm like, mm -hmm. dang, no. Like, you really think you, like, you out here playing? Player, player. <laughs> player, player. <laughs> what, what Kyle be doing? And you be like... <laughs> Are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> my, yeah. my daughter be mad because her brother be staring at her. She would get mad and upset because they fight all the time. But um, I was like, what's wrong, Kyla? What happened this time? She's like, he pointed at me. So I'm like, Kyla, is that hurting you? Are you dead? Like, something wrong with you? Like, does that hurt? Like, so what? He's pointing at you. It's not that deep. Grocery store. Would you be and fries them up? Nice. Press, press said that's the only. That's the only. Okay. She thought that was her. Okay. Oh, birthday girl. Yeah. <laughs> we got a birthday Sunday. <laughs> no, for real. Cause who is this? Who got a Sunday? Like who's for your birthday? <laughs> Somebody told him it was my birthday? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Check for you and I'll grab a box. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> who told him it was my birthday? To the man in charge. Who told him it's my birthday? Yeah. <laughs> Fresh it's TikTok. Right they do it everywhere. They do it everywhere. They know the vibe. What they know? They know the vibe. They know what's going on. They know what's going on. I'm going to tell you what they know. What they know. What <laughs> we got to do. She's trying to get it. Just say, ready, set, go <laughs> to him. You put me in it. Yeah, ready, set, go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go, go, go. Yeah, come on, come on. You're messing it up. This is, this is, this is special. Like, You're messing it up. <laughs> Done. Behind Done. When, I, when you Make see you my hand, you're going this side, this side. Ready? Okay. We're going to say, ready, set, go. Wait, wait, wait. Ready. Daddy. Don't look at her. Look, he said. He said, "Don't be loud thing. in the restaurant." <laughs> <laughs> he embarrassed. Stop being loud. He embarrassed. Okay. Ready, set, go. Bounce. Go. Bounce. Bounce. Yeah. That should be good enough. That should be. Let us look at it. Top ticky. The top ticky. Hi. It's been real. It's old. And we always feel like this. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to spring? It's hey y'all. I just threw something on. I love me a white thermal. Okay. Uh, I'm about to go get some alterations on my jeans that I told you about in my last vlog from Zara. I'm about to take them um, around the corner. I'm going to this new place I've never been. I usually go to this uh, place by my mom's house. We usually always go there. Uh, but I'm going to try a place closer to my house. That's just more convenient. So, I don't know. Like, I'm just going to try it out. I'll call them today and they said they do alterations. So, we're going to go there see how it goes. And then I'm going to pick up my baby girl. I'm watching Brielle today and tomorrow as her mommy works out at the gym. Y'all, my voice has been sounding raspy all day. <clears throat> I have no idea why. Y'all hear it like, it has been raspy all day. I don't know. I don't feel sick or anything, so that's a good sign. I just don't know, like, what's going on? And I had this pack of chicken. I'm going to make me some chicken today for dinner. I had my ground turkey earlier, but your girl is hungry. So, yeah, I'm about to season this up, let this sit, and then when I come back, I'll put it in the air fryer. We're going to fry up some chicken. We're going to air fry some chicken. I'm going to make some jasmine rice, and I have some green beans for din, din But I need a snack. I just got here. I'm going to try not to record all in their face. So, if this, you know, footage looks, oh, shoot. If this footage look a little crazy, it's just because of that. Why is this weirdo guy, like, right here at the front of the door? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Hello. How you doing? Um, this is my first time here. 302. First name? Niel, N-Y-E-L-L. Um, I wanted to get these altered as in, in the waist. The waist is too big, so I wanted to just get it cinched. Good morning, guys. I am about to pull up at the gym. I came a little later today because, quite frankly, this hour that we lost is really kicking my tail. Like, I don't want to wake up. Like, I was waking up naturally, no alarm, nothing, at like 7 a.m. Since the, we lost this hour, it's became 8 a.m. And I don't like that for me because I just don't like that for me. <laughs> and now it has me not wanting to get up and I'm coming to the gym later. But I have to break that and I know that I have to just start going to sleep earlier. That's the only way to help that. So I will show you how to work out. Today is leg day. It's going to be a tough, hard day. Good thing I worked out on Saturday so it wasn't that much of a big break because y'all know I didn't work out Friday because the brows, the brows are healing really nice like a lot of the scabbing has came off so if this is what they're going to look like i'm very 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 pleased um my hopes are high you know like i am hoping that they do turn out nice because it was a pretty penny um but if i have to get a touch up it is what it is 
but y'all know the vibes. So tune into the workout afterwards. Today's a chill day. I get Brie again today. Check out my TikTok, TikTok y'all. Brie had me making TikToks yesterday. I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, so I'm sure we'll probably make TikToks today. She like she got this candy from Wawa. Ate all this candy, was hype making TikToks, and then crashed. Fell asleep, crashed. <laughs> um, my baby girl be sleeping. Okay, one thing she gonna do is go to sleep, and I ain't mad at her. Baby, I feel like I always tell y'all this on leg day. War your girl out. War sister girl out. Woo, woo, woo. Get in the middle of the lane. Great workout. Always feel good after the workout, but during the workout, it feels like you're going through it. Uh, great workout. Great group of people. Have fun without a breath. Tired. My legs feel like noodles, but ready to press on through the rest of the day. Okay? Okay. I have two big meetings later, and I have a live that I'm gonna be going on live with LightFit on LightFit's page with Tomboy Tuesday with my sis Michaela. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna be talking about, but I know it's gonna be like certain questions about the business, entrepreneurship, life. Um, so hopefully you guys tuned in. Hopefully it'll also be saved so you guys can check it out. See y'all later. I'm just getting prepared to go on to live tonight. Hopefully you guys are able to tune in. I always forget to get footage every time I do this because I get super nervous and forget to like let y'all tune in a little bit. But I know that it's going to be saved so maybe I can like just steal some footage from what's saved and put y'all on there. My boobs be looking so big when I have on tight stuff like this. But I love them for me so I don't even care. I don't even care. Um, what am I doing? So I didn't want to put any makeup on because like I said, my face has been really doing like super, super well. I'm trying to take like, you know, like this is all clear. It's just like some dark marks that are fading. Um, same over here. There was like a little blemish trying to come through, but like face is doing good. Eyebrows are coming through. Okay. A lot of the peeling and scabbing came off like I was telling y'all earlier and they look magnificent. I'm very pleased. It hasn't been two weeks yet though. It has been a week. It hasn't been two weeks. So give it a couple more weeks and see what it's given. I have literally, literally nine minutes until we talk uh, to Tomboy Tuesday in the in the crew. Did I tell y'all? I don't think I told y'all. My birthday shoes came in, y'all. I tried them on. Fire. 10 out of 10. Chef's kiss. Beyond please and I can't wait for the look to come together. It's gonna be so freaking fire I can't wait till the other pieces of my birthday my second birthday outfit come in because I want to try that on and try everything on with my shoes But I love my shoes. I'm li literally obsessed Sorry, I can't show y'all y'all gonna have to wait all the way until September to see Sorry, sorry, sorry But this is the setup. This is my usual setup. Don't mind my vacuum usual setup for any lives that I do uh, definitely incorporates the background. I'm glad I made them over here so I can move this out the way. But we have one of the ring lights and this holds the phone and the, what's it called, the camera. And then Spice Squad. Shout out to y'all. I love y'all. Uh, yeah, so let me get myself together. Sit here, make sure the phone and everything. I'm glad my phone was charged. Next. Thank you. That song has been like that song came on today in a car and it's been in my head. Y'all things have been going really, really well in life overall. I'm a happy camper. I've been a happy camper um these past few weeks. Like I can't even complain. L literally, life's good and I'm just being thankful and soaking it all up because That can change in a blink of an eye. 
But sis is blessed and highly favored, and I'm just so thankful, y'all. Okay. It's giving a natural face and, like, what's up? Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, y'all. Natural. Oh, y'all can't see because the light is blinded. But it's giving a natural face. I want a filter. Like, how can I get a filter? I want a filter. Like, I'm not the one starting the live. But I. But don't get it twisted, though. Don't get it twisted. I don't need a filter. Okay, y'all. It's 7 o'clock, and I didn't forget, y'all. So, it's about to start. Um, not, not as I can Who ever needs to hear this? It's I went time boy Tuesday in literally just a couple minutes. So make sure you guys tune in, engage. And if you're not already following time boy Tuesday, make sure y'all follow her. If y'all not following time boy Tuesday, what is you doing? Okay. So see you guys in a second. Make sure you tune in. Okay. So I just made that like, oh, okay. She's live. Okay. We're about to go live. All right. We're here. We're here. All right. All right. So I'm one minute. Let me request. I sent the request. All right. I am I'm tagging my... Yeah, I just finished and my cheeks hurt from smiling. And not fake smiling. Like, it was just a really good convo, guys. Shout out to all the small business owners. Y'all doing y'all thing. Trust me. Coming from a small business owner. I know how hard it is. I know you can get discouraged. I know we have low points. Uh, but we do have high points. And we need to maximize those high points and not give up or stay in those low paces it's okay to feel your feels but make sure you get up out your feels okay and when you feel those good feels make them last as long as you can period hey guys i have not talked to y'all all day it's wednesday i went to the gym today and i just worked from my mom's house all day i am now about to head to get my lashes done and I did a great job on my lashes uh, these this last session, and I'm so happy with myself, if y'all can see. I have a lot of lashes still on, so hopefully I'm not there long. I'm never really there long. She does her big one every time. So quick, and your girl be in and out. So I will see you guys with a fresh set of lashes. You can see the gaps for sure, but new lashes coming very soon. I wish I would turn myself in. Y'all, Derek is going to be coming to Atlantic City the end of April, but I think I might be out the country. So I'm not going to be able to see you. But no worries. Y'all, and Drake, Drake is coming to a city near you. I got to be there. And I told you, I'm not a concert person. I come out for B, but I haven't seen Drake in concert except one time at Made of America years ago when I was in college. And it was so funny because me and somebody was talking about, like, Drake. Like, we was like, oh, he don't really do concerts like that. And boom, like, manifestation at its finest. But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and be like, you know, this eyebrow and this lash combo about to go crazy. Wait till these joints get fresh. Y'all know I usually give y'all a little rant when I'm waiting outside to get my lashes done. But I feel like I don't really got nothing to say to y'all. <laughs> my voice, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, it still has not come back all the way. Like, I feel like a, a, like the teeny, eeny, wincy, bitsy, like, strain in the back. I'm not sure exactly what that is. But anyways, I told y'all life is good. Life is good. I'm not even complaining. Things can always be better, but I'm just so grateful for where I am in life right now. In all aspects, like, just grateful. I was thinking earlier, like, we are the new adults. For my adults. Like, I'm a hair away from being 30. We are literally the new adults, and that scares me. <laughs> Not literally scares me, but like, wow. Like, that's bonkers. Like, we are, like, the new adults. What has the world come to? Like, time waits for no one. No one at all. So, on that note, live your life, okay? YOLO. You only live once. Live your life. Have fun. Do what you want to do. Go on that date. Buy that bag. Get that surgery. Book that flight. Cut them off. Rekindle. Do what makes you happy, okay? Do it. Like, who cares at this point? Like, we're grown. <laughs> we're grown and we only live once. Who cares what you got to say? If they not saying it to your face, does it really matter? I ain't going to say give them something to talk about, but they going to talk regardless. So, baby, do you.
Period. I know I does me. And ain't nobody said nothing to me yet. Do you, boo? Ain't nobody gonna check you. Who gonna check you? You know what I'm saying? Who gonna check you? <laughs> hey, listen. Take what I said for what it's for. You know what I'm saying? Don't drag it. <laughs> but, shoot. Who gets what I gotta say? Because I'm out here doing me. I ain't miss a blessing yet. Well, I don't know that. But God keep blessing me. I'm a favorite. And I don't, you know, some people don't be knowing you guys' favorite. But I know I'm one of the favorites. I know I'm one of the favorites. I know it. All right, let me go get my lashes in so I can look like a what? A brand new chick. <laughs> Good morning, squad. It's the next day. It's Thursday morning. Here goes my lashes. Oh, my God. Goal, they are giving a drama compared to what they look like but it was funny my best friend brie was sent, telling me about a meme like i'm tired of y'all talking about don't be getting these thick lashes and blah 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 i get my thick lashes i get them very dramatic because most of them fall out y'all know y'all know me y'all know me here so y'all know most of these fall out so i have to start off thick because if i started off where like i really want to be like natural but with a little pizzazz, a little razzle dazzle, I wouldn't have any lashes by day three, four. They fall out, guys. Chill out. But yes, loving the lashes and the eyebrow combo. They're pretty much the scabbing is all going on my eyebrows. I know I've been updating you the whole time, but it's a thing, and I'm happy because the color is definitely taking. This bump of my face is um, hating on me, but it's okay. The rest of the face is looking good. My voice is still giving that raspy voice. Uh, my throat is a little itchy and it's just like, it's like mucus there. Like I keep <clears throat> like coughing up or like <clears throat> that and like mucus comes up. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm drinking my water. I'm minding my business. I'm in my room, as you can see, with my bonnet on. I need to wash my hair. I get my nails done today at four. I have something in mind, so y'all will see later how they turn out. Um, yeah, but really just wanted to come on here and show you my lashes. Not gonna talk to you guys too much because I spent a lot of time talking in the house yesterday. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all I ordered my purse for my birthday outfits and they just told me it's on the way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm getting back into the groove, like catching up on my podcast. Uh to be honest, I have been slacking. I have not been watching the basement. I have like three pods to catch up on. I'm watching the one with Kirby Kelly, uh, and I'm going to watch the other two. Hopefully, I'll get through them today, but that's what I'm having play in the background today. That's what I'm going to try to pay attention to every now and then. Um, yeah, getting back in the routine of some things that I kind of let slip, and I'm just being transparent. <sighs> okay, guys, so I'm about to put this down. I'm about to wash my hair, and my nail tech, not my nail tech, my lash tech and my eyebrow tech, all, like they give me these to um safeguard my brows and my lashes for when i wash my hair do you guys use these if so let me know what you think so now i have a guard for when i wash my hair so that the water doesn't take over the lashes or the brows I could see people in fashion like really trying to wear these for a look. <laughs> Honestly, isn't this what some sunglasses look like? <laughs> My throat is getting worse by the day, y'all. <clears throat> like it is a strain to yell, but I just finished working out disrespectful disrespectful i just finished working out though it's friday booty day <sighs> i don't have too much going on i do need to try my outfit for tomorrow Ooh, let me back up real quick one second okay my bad y'all i had to wrap around and check on something but yeah tonight we just chilling i just need to try my outfit for tomorrow um, and nothing spectacular. I'm just going to be hanging with Mama Bear tomorrow. We're going to try out Kava. So that's exciting. Kava is the new, <laughs> the new rave that's going around. Um, 
and it's been getting great reviews so i'm excited to try kava and we're going to crumble cookie my mom wants to do some shopping running around so y'all will get some mama bear action tomorrow she will be on the channel i feel like she hasn't been on here like that there we go and then i think we're going out to eat tomorrow too so tomorrow's a fun filled day literally from morning to end we're working out in the morning we're doing some recordings spending the day with mom dinner at night tonight i think i'm going to see scream the um the movie so i'll check back in later my poor throat i need to get me some hauls y'all your girl needs hauls guys i am back at the alteration place at the cleaners i picked up my jeans but i'm but i'm about to get another alteration um part of my second birthday outfit came in and i have to get a part of it altered so i'm in here now changing Good morning, guys. So you guys seen that I went to the movies and I seen Scream. Y'all, it was really good. If you're thinking about going to see it, you don't know if it was dumb. Action packed from the beginning to the very end. I was impressed. I was interested the whole time. I stayed up the whole time. I liked it a lot. So go see Scream. It was definitely worth it. Uh, <clears throat> really really liked it now um it's saturday it's 8 40 i'm on my way to the gym i'm about to do some recordings and everything uh for our social media for our youtube and then after that i told y'all spending the day with mama bear y'all probably like girl how you feeling um i feel fine it's my voice I have a haul in right now. I'm waiting for my green tea to cool down. <clears throat> but my my body doesn't feel away. And I actually like to work out when sometimes I'm under the weather because it makes me sweat. But it's so weird. Like, I really don't feel sick, y'all. I promise y'all I don't. Or I would not, like, be up this early, like, moving and grooving. I think, like, sometimes when I'm sick, too, like, I be in denial. Like... Bro, I'm not sick. I'm really not one of those girls or one of those people where, like, I drag being sick. Like, you know when people are sick, they drag it and they, like, want to be super baby. They want to, like, act like a child. No judgment. I'm just not that girl because I'm, like, I'm extra independent where I like to get up and do what I got to do. Like, I got stuff to do. I don't have time to be sick. I have stuff to get done. Um, so that's me hopefully my voice goes back to normal because this is a mess and i have a great opportunity next week that came up out of nowhere that you know i'm praying about deciding if like you know it's the right time for me and life it to be doing it but i think i think it might be so still waiting to hear some confirmation but i need my voice for that so i need not to be talking that much but y'all know me i talk so much so that's gonna be hard but anyways let's go work out Burn these calories, make some good content, and get this Saturday popping because I don't have time for whatever's going on here. Mm -mm. Okay, <clears throat> I was supposed to be done talking to y'all and so after I worked out, but I just seen something and it just like popped in my head and I want to talk about it really quick. I don't understand how people be missing their flights on their own. Forget like delays and layovers and stuff and like when you literally have no control over making or missing a flight because of unforeseen circumstances but for you to miss your flight when you drive to the airport and you're getting either dropped off or you're driving on your own no freaking excuse like i don't care like that's what you get if you miss your flight 
and you could not and you could control it get up and go set your alarm early and get to the freaking airport i don't get it like if you're last minute and you're a procrastinator that's on you and i don't want to see you complain about missing your flight i just don't understand because i could never like could never my birthday this like last year it is what it is i was tore up i woke up and it still made my flight i was crying and everything thinking i was going to miss it but i did what needed to be done and i made my flight i don't get how y'all be missing y'all flights y'all be thinking y'all have all the time in the world if you don't have tsa pre-check get there two hours or three hours early i don't get it y'all listen if y'all got money to blow and y'all don't care about all that stress and anxiety kudos i don't i don't i don't care how much money's in my bank account i don't like wasting money i don't care i don't care so y'all can stop complaining because i don't want to hear about it and if you're one of those people get your stuff together but if you got money to blow and you don't care about that kind of stuff cool i do but nobody wants to see it complained about when you could have when you could have controlled that oh my god i miss my plane nobody cares you could control that get up be responsible or don't complain about it nobody wants to see you complain about it when you could have controlled it okay okay it's about to begin you don't have to clock it
book your appointment. Period. <laughs> Ultimate hater. You wanna see what a hater look like? If hater was a person. Look, you know what's crazy? If hater was a person. I might be the best looking thing to ever touch that camera. <laughs> the content earlier um went well everything at the gym went well it was fun you've seen some behind the scenes clips the social media team at our gym are so cute the girls be giving what they supposed to give and i'm with y'all girl i told y'all she would make an appearance this weekend hey y'all we are trying to get to kava because we're starving i have not ate at all today and it is 12 22. there's this big accident on 95 right there once we get past this we should be smooth sailing yeah i want to try to show you guys praying that no one got hurt but they really is this big jam up 195 a mess this is the accident guys it looks like everyone's okay mm, one car is hey guys we just got to kava i'm so excited she's been running kava for how long for the, what, two, three weeks? Someone wants to try it? So, we're finally here. We're in Delta. No, we're in PA. <sighs> and then, guess what, y'all? Crumble Cookie is literally next door. So, we'll be going there immediately after. What are you trying? Trying it. How is that? Nasty. Don't get the blueberry lavender. They have plastic lemonade. What sodas are these? They're like cobbles. Handcrafted beverages. Pre-bread is good. I don't really like white sauce. I didn't know the garlic looked like that. I'm scared to kind of mix it in, but we're gonna see. I wanna see what the hype is about. See if I like it. My it's mom's yours and it tastes mine. My mom's here with me and she got a bowl too. This was her first time. I think you don't like mine. Mine got stick to it. Did you get spicy chicken? But the sauce she put in it, it gave it a real spice. Mine really good. You gonna love mine. It's not bad, y'all. <clears throat> Mom, yours is alright. Taste mine. I thought you got the same stuff as me, but you didn't get the. Um, I got less stuff than you. I didn't get those pita chips in there. Off. Okay, guys. It's good, sorry. I don't give all the rent the hype is about. What's the hype, mom? 
making something new. You know, people are always something new. So everybody wants to try it. So you like yours? It does feel healthier. It feels lighter than Chipotle. So what would you rate it? I give it a seven because I'm not dying to come back, so I probably give it a six and a half. Yeah, I wouldn't drive back up here to come get it. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So Kava basically is an upscale Chipotle. Six and a half out of ten. And that's what it is. If you want to travel to try it, to try it, go for it. I definitely recommend trying it, but it's an upscale Chipotle. And I bought my mom, at, my mom's and my mom's. It was around thirty dollars. So yeah, she did get avocado. I did. <clears throat> so that's your girl's review. And you can check out my TikTok review as well. Say hey, like it. Hey guys, how happy are you, mom? I'm so happy. These are the cookies she got. This is chocolate chip. What is it called? Cookies and cream. Cookie and cream, butterscotch, and mellow. Marshmallow. Like a marshmallow something. And I got chocolate chip, cookies and cream, and a red velvet, pink red velvet. All right, you want to taste them? Which one do you want to taste? <clears throat> First. You're gonna do the red velvet. Okay, so Perfect. should we break it in half? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, wait, I gotta get on TikTok. <laughs> we gotta do go on TikTok. It's a lot to be a content creator, guys. Okay. Yes. Dang, how do you want to tell the people where you at first? <clears throat> we'll take, put it here. Cover up the camera. Ah, Jesus. Jeez Louise. Does it stick? Mm -hmm. This is too much. We could do it sideways too. Will it do it sideways? Mm -hmm. We could do it like that. YouTube, y'all not about to see us taste these cookies. Whatever. <coughs> do one with YouTube and one with. We're doing two cookies. All right, guys, our next stop today is at TJ Maxx. So we're in TJ Maxx, and my mom is looking for a comforter. I don't know what she's looking for. I think, I know she says she needs a comforter. And I am here to just be her tag along butt buddy person. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, but I have a feeling I'm going to find something, so we'll see. So, y'all know I'm a body oil girl, and TJ Maxx and Home Goods is like a great place to find them. Ooh, I like this one. I think I'm gonna get this one, y'all. Ooh. Vitamin E and high moronic body oil. Restores and protects. And I like the kinds that have this. You just put the drops all over you. They had this one too, but I like this smell better. It's coconut and ver verbena, verbena, I don't know. This is eucalyptus and, and mint, but this one smells better. I knew I was going to get something. But if my mom don't get in line, I'm not getting this, but I like this one. Well, I'm the worst shopping partner. I don't know my, why my mom wants me to come out with her and shop. We're in Old Navy. And I'm ready to go. I don't have anything I'm shopping for, so I'm not on a mission. I am not a window shopper, but she is. Look at her, she's having a great time. You having a good time? She's having a good time, y'all. Leave me alone. I'm just here. She 
She came here to look for a sweatsuit. If this was me, if this was me, we would run right to sweatsuits. She has to look at everything. Hey guys, um, we ended up going to all these other stores. We went to Trader Joe's. I did not go inside. We went to the Christmas tree store. It was nothing in there. And we went to Target. Yeah, we went to Target, and I got a couple things. I didn't get these guys. I got these. If you guys get the treats for your cars. They had a three pack for two eighty nine, two eighty nine, um, <clears throat> so a little under a dollar for each one. And my favorite all time one is summer linen. Y'all see, summer linen. Oh my god, it smells so freaking good, so fresh. Um, this is my favorite, and I feel like that's cheaper than a dollar store because the dollar store is like one seventy, one twenty five now for one. They don't have my flavor anyway. Let me put that in here. I need to open one. This is like, I like to keep them all free up. Not every place sells this flavor or this flavor always be going out of stock. I keep calling it flavor. Is that what it's called? Flavor? Or this scent? <clears throat> Excuse me. Then, um, I have the Quip toothbrush. And you're supposed to change out the head every three months. So don't be a dirty girl and not change your head out. Instead of buying a whole new toothbrush, like the little automatic drum, they sell the heads at Target. It was around like eight something, but you get it for five dollars online. But you got to make a subscription and all that, and I wasn't doing all that. And then I read up on my feminine wash from Honey Pot. I get the sensitive. Um, just keeps everything fresh and clean. Two pumps. Do do. And that's it. Nothing too much. I don't do too much or put too much extra down. And the privacy area, you know, as a female, we are sensitive and we should always take care and be fresh. So I always like to do all sensitive stuff because y'all know I belong in a bubble. I need all things sensitive, period. Like, every part of my body is sensitive. Every single part of my body. From the top of the head to the bottom of my feet. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, y'all. That's what I got. I'm probably about to log off here, y'all. Um, I am going to drink some tea and I'm going to lay in bed and lounge the rest of today. And I have brunch with the girlies in the morning and hopefully they won't be scared to be around me because my voice sounds crazy. But I'm not sick, y'all. My voice is just, you know. Good morning, guys. I am mm, about to leave out the house to go to brunch with the girls. This is like a girl's ketchup. My outfit, I kind of just threw together. Let me see, I got to get all things. I just threw my outfit together. Um, this cute carnigan. My best friend got me for Christmas with some wide leg jeans, a bodysuit, and I'm about to put on some Uggs. I just pulled my hair back because it's a mess. You see, I just literally pulled it back and put it in this raggedy looking bun. Because I don't feel like doing it. Y'all can hear my voice is still scratchy. But we're making it. It keeps going in and out. It gets better. It gets scratchy. It gets better. It gets scratchy. I have on like this whatever type of bra this is. All right, let me check out what I got on. Maybe I can see a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing, because this is what I feel like wearing. Cute. I don't know if you guys can, you guys can't see my shoes, okay. I will give y'all the whole lay. I'm taking my regular Degna everyday tote bag because that's what I want to wear. And this is the fit. So the ultra mini Ugg, just because honestly these were out. The wide leg jeans are like dark but have that like tannish wash. Carnegie is from American Eagle. Jeans I think are from Express or American Eagle, one of them. Nothing fancy at all. Nothing fancy at all.
Regla Degla Me. I'm really giving cozy. Cozy is my favorite vibe to give. Cozy, cute, hanging with the girls. Just to get do some catching up. Last time we had brunch at Expectations. Am I even frumpy? I don't care. Here, this is the outfit. So from neck down. Do, do. And this is the best we got. And on that note, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. And I'm going to start a new vlog for next week. So tune into the brunch with the girls. Say hi to all the girls on next week's vlog. Love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, make sure you take the time to subscribe right now. And like, share a little cute little comment. And yeah, y'all know what I always say. Be the light wherever you go. Because wherever you go, the light shall follow. Love you guys so much. Bye.